I wasn't sure about, about doing this, you know, but I thought, you know what, because this is the half hope sort, and I think this is a place where I can just sort of reveal just my thoughts, you know, because again, you know, the half of football hot is purely about football, purely football. Here is where, let me just talk, let me just kick it, let me just, because I think, you know, it's always good in life to express yourself. Or just get your thoughts out there rather than keeping your thoughts in, get your thoughts out there and let's just have a conversation. Let's have a debate. Let's have a back and forth. Um, so, and I think this is just why, why, why I really want to hear people's comments. I want to hear people's comments about this because this is something that I've held within me for a very long time. So, you know, whenever, you know, when I, when I, when, you know, I went to England, you know, and then you go to England and then, you know, you get called, you know, black this, black that, nigga this, nigga that, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, coon, you know, sorting your skin, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, but this is their country. It is their country. It is messed up. It's bad, but it's their land. It's their country. So as angry as I can be, as pissed off as I can be, and so forth, and I, and I, and I do get that, and I, and I got in, in several fights and, and so forth, um, you have to still accept that it is it is their country and you're a visitor and you always be a visitor and it's always why i've always had my thing about england and so forth which i'll probably get to in another vid and um, so you you it's not that you accept it but i'm like all right i am coming into their land it is their land and okay all right it's it's, it's how it is which is why i always say to people that you know okay black man you say you're from england i'm like oh yeah i'm english i'm fully english i'm like all right <laughs> okay so I was like, okay whatever you say now things change things change when it's now my turf my ground my land then it's like okay things are different because again let me not even add this as well if you're a minority you're a minority you're a minority, so you so you have to just accept that it is what it is. It's your your minority, but now if you're a majority, and it is your land, it's like whoa, wait one second, which brings us to South Africa. I plan on doing a round trip of Africa, so I've been the only places in Africa I've been to are, I think I went to Uganda when I was very young. I went to Uganda when I was very young. I went to Ghana. And I went, and I've obviously been to Nigeria, but I, I want to I wanna go to Egypt for sure. I want to go to Kenya. And I just want to just, you know, do a round trip around Africa and just, you know, see what, what's what's what. One place that I said that I can't go is South Africa. And that has nothing to do with the amazing South African culture, South African his, history, um, black South Africans, and so forth. You know, it has nothing to do with, with, with that. But... It's just by the very fact that um, the racial dynamics and makeup of the country. And to this day, as I said again, I the best way to put it is that I would rather not engage with the white South Africans. So it's not a case of, and, and here's where the issue lies, you know, is... This isn't a thing of, oh, I am angry against them. I have any animosity against them because I, I don't really see myself as a kind of angry person. You know, I don't see myself as somebody that really promotes anger and, and, and stuff, you know. But the fact of the matter is... Um, the racial makeup of the country doesn't make sense so if you look at this Im image here you would think that this image is of let's say the belgian national team or the norwegian national team you know belgian national team norwegian national team 
English national team, and you're like, oh yeah, this makes sense. Obviously, because you know, because it's majority white, minority black. Okay, so in that kind of team, you would see a kind of minority of those peeps in there. But this is actually the South African cricket team. <laughs> you know, it is actually the South African cricket team. So it isn't anything. It is the, the actual South African cricket team that looks like that. And I'll show you another image again. Again, you would think that, oh, no, this is the Norwegian team, English team. No, no, no. This is the South African rugby team. And it is hard for me to comprehend this. Because for so many... See, this is recent. This is like within the last few years. But growing up in the 90s... Um, the South African cricket team and rugby team was all white. All white. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, uh, really? When South Africans are a major minority, it's like, really? So, for somebody who's like a white South, white South African, even if, let's say, you were not directly responsible. You were not involved in any of that evil crap that happened during apartheid. And I get that. But just for me personally, I'd rather not communicate because when I, when I just see a white South African or I hear a white South African speak, it just angers me. And I can only tell you of my national It angers me because it just reminds me of how this group of white people came in to a black man's country messed them up, created a haven for their own people of their race in someone else's compound, imprisoned people who didn't like it, and had, and introduced segregation. <laughs> so, so, when I just when I was just learning about apartheid and reading about it, I'm like, okay, segregation in America is messed up. It's crazy, it's messed up, and so forth. But it is a land that white people went, took over, and now has now become this, and white people are a majority. So, them doing segregation and so forth, it is, that's messed up. But compare that to, South Africa was a land owned by black people, and you're coming in there, enforcing it to be your own, keeping those black people there, and then segregating them. You know, is that's psychology. Put it, put it, both things are bad. But I can only base, speak based off of how I truly feel, which is because America is the land of the of the American Indian. So it isn't white people's land; it's the of, of the American Indian. But in the way of in in the ways that it was back then, and how wild it was back then, it's you know every man for himself, doggy to dog. You know, because I mean, when you really investigate just how messed up human history is, which is why. I, I don't have any time for that crap of like the great British Empire, the Portuguese Empire. I have no time for that crap because you just went and just massacred, killed people and then took them over. So that's not something you should promote. <laughs> you shouldn't really promote going into someone else's house, murdering one of them and then taking over. I digress. So say so when you just look at apartheid and you just look at just the way in which you've gone into someone else's place and you're now in <laughs> enforcing segregation on someone's land it's like this is my house i've lived in this house for hundreds of years a visitor comes in armed with a gun says the sitting room the living room that big dining room place are all mine you can keep the toilet and that little one by one square foot um guest room and i and you cannot drink from this water. you can drink from this little Dirty fort, but you cannot drink from this water fountain. You can use that small fridge, you cannot use this big, big fridge. You can't use the oven. You can't use the, the stove. You have to use that little stove outside there. So basically, I'm now changing and enforcing rules on a house that you lived in for hundreds of years before I got there. <laughs> that is understanding the kind of psychology of appetite. So for me, it's like even if you have white South Africans who exist now and they didn't do any of that stuff. It's for me, I can't have a conversation with you. 
I can't even begin to talk to you. Which is why anytime I experience a white South African, I just move the other way. Because like there is nothing to discuss. And it would be impossible for me to even engage in a conversation with you. So it's not even coming from a thing of animosity or hatred. It's just that you just represent something in me that I loathe and I hate in terms of how you screwed over a black man's land that he lived in in Africa on the continent, which is a, a tough way of bread from you know that is the content in which i get my moral values and so forth from is the content of africa you know and, and continent of africa so but then i then ask myself that is that fair which is which is the question i, I i've always asked myself which is why I, I i'm doing this video so is it fair for me to have such animosity toward a 2020 white south african yeah is that is that fair to do you know, um, because because it's, and the thing about it is, is this is that Australia has some crazy history, New Zealand has some crazy history. You know, but again, you can it's, you have to, this way you don't have to be honest. I anybody that says oh I care about everyone the same, everyone the same, and I and I fight for everyone's justice, justice the same. That guy is a liar. You are a liar if you feel the same about every single race as your own. That's a lie. The reality of the matter, which is what not anybody will admit, is that you feel closer and you care more for people of your own race and other race. That's just a fact. Okay. So this isn't a kumbaya, blah, blah. That's just a fact. So as much as it is crazy what the Australians did to the Abor Aborigines, which we'll inv inv investigate very soon because those guys messed up the ab aborigines you know and this and the aborigines still live in a the way the aborigines live and how they are treated and the regions where they're op operating in a land that is their own it's wild <laughs> because the way the reason why australians speak like they do is because of the aborigines you know that's the that's where they get the the, the, the dialects from but i digress so for me, with so, but the thing with South Africa is that when I look at a white South African, all I can see is how white people have come into Africa, and as a minority, we would have to talk about white, 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 white people and the brilliance of white people. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know it's wrong. We have to talk about the brilliance of the white man, in terms of how how you are a minority. And you live better, operate better, and sort of still have a certain bout of power as a minority in a black man's country. That I find out, out, outstanding because I think there was even like an, an image. I don't know whether I don't even show you this image. Um, that just showed you the difference. Um, between. Oh, no, 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 no. Basically, there's the difference between like the black area and the right area. Um, should maybe do a black white divide. I want to just. Yes, this is it. This is it. And this just shows you such a clear image. There you go. That's look at that. That's just the, the the divide between obviously the shanty towns and everything and the affluent houses that exist. You see, this is why what I want to, to do, what I plan to do is that I want to get a South African to do like a I want to, I want to do a, a show on this and I want to get like a South African to talk about this. Because I don't know, I am ham. It's South African. So I actually want to do, I want I want to actually get a South African's point of view in terms of what is it like living in South Africa in 2020? What are the dynamics like? What is it? How does it feel? How does it operate? Because I want to know. So this, because I'm talking from the outside in. So this video isn't about the ex the experts and what is about South Africa. It is just my view of white South Africans and why I don't like to sort of engage or interact with the white South Africans and I try to avoid them. So that's what this is about, you know, and looking from the outside in of how, how, you're a minority, but they are like white-owned places, and you live affluently, 
and black people still live in squalor and sort of something like what is going on there's a confusion but the question is is it fair for me to have this feeling towards a 2020 white south african who has no idea and had no nothing involved to, to do with what the those evil devilish bastards did through doing apartheid you know that's the thing but all see the problem we have in this world is people lack honesty and that is why we'll never get anywhere without honesty people are fake and people want to be like oh no no but i do love everyone oh everyone is the same if we are more honest brutally honest it will be painful it will be hurtful but that is where we can now sort of now get towards healing so my honesty is i don't really like white south africans white south africans i don't because i just i just you know it's because i'm nigerian i'm african and so forth and i try to you know um speak truth to africans and so forth you know for me just the white south just when i just look at a white south african and i hear them speak and i talk and everything you know i'm just like no nah. you know i just mm. but am i writing that this is why i want to get this dialogue and conversation is is it am i being unfair to maybe a white south african who isn't racist who does try to help this hate situation in south africa who is trying to be um more open to try to sort of you know right to the wrongs from the past you know but i can only speak as to how i feel and i've always felt this way that you know i've just that i can't i cannot no way i cannot step foot on south africa white i cannot step foot into south africa knowing that that country operates like like that and white south africans live the way that they do and black south africans live the way that they do i can't do that so that's why i will never visit south africa because I, I want, of course, I want to visit South Africa because of the just the, what the country looks like and the different things. Of, of course, I do, but I can't. In my heart, I, I just can't. It would, I would just feel a sense of. It's not even a sense of guilt. I would just feel sick. I will feel physically sick just being there and just seeing. It, it would blow my mind to the point of where I could. I may I may act out if I go to South Africa. So if I go to South Africa, and I go to let's say a restaurant, and it's like an all white restaurant, and there are people sort of who racially abuse me. Can you racially abuse me in England? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to what, what the hell? I'm going to, okay. In Netherlands, so forth. Okay, we're going to have words. We're going to have words, and, and, we, and we may fight, but, but we'll have words. And I'm like, excuse me, what? You racially abuse me on the continent. You want to have an exclusive all-white place on the continent? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> so, I was like, what? <laughs> excuse, excuse me? No. No. <laughs> so that's my thing. So how the hell do I go to South Africa? How the hell do you expect to go to South, Af South, South Africa? And I'm seeing white people enjoying living in swimming pools, living in their all white neighborhoods in, in South Africa. I'm like, I was like, you can only imagine what Aborigines think. Seeing how um, the whites operate and live on their land. So that's my thing. But guys, comment below. You know, am I right? Am I wrong? You know, do I. Do I maybe need to sit down and have a conversation with a white South African? Because it's something that I don't think I could do. I just don't think I could do it. I don't, I don't think I could actually sit down and talk to a, a white South African. It's something that I couldn't do. It. But should I? Because I'm always open for change. I'm always open for change and I'm always open to hear other people. So please, guys, comment below and just... Give me your, your thoughts on this video and so forth. And also, any recommendations on any, any other video you want me to do, put it down, down the below, man. Peace out. Stay true.
Stereo One. Thanks for watching the vid and don't forget to head to the official websites for extra cool content at halfhopehot.com.